Come on, make it happen. Oop, he got away from me. But I'm going in there. What up? What up? How you like this, dude? Come on. Come on. What do you got? What do you got? Huh? Huh? Hello and welcome back guys, you are gaming with me, Brothgar, and today I got some gigantic action for you. Now today I'm going to be playing as Wu here, which is a, like, assassin, melee assassin, but he is basically a kung fu frog, man. This guy knows all kinds of flips and tricks, and as you'd expect, his tongue can reach out there and do some damage. So, it's going to be pretty interesting. This game here is a MOBA, so, but it's a lot, but a lot different than most MOBAs you've actually seen out there. It's probably the closest to minimum of any game out there. The idea is to kill the enemy guard. Guardian, which you can see right here so one guardian goes across the map and starts to attack the other team and then you got to go over there and smack it while it's holding it down so a lot of different things I'm going to be explaining the game here as we go you can see a couple of graphical issues I think it has to do with me using SLI so right over here is one of these areas this game does not have your standard sort of towers right here so what I'm going to be doing is detecting enemies so I'm spawning up creatures and these creatures take the places of towers more or less so they do things for you in this case this creature here is going to reveal stuff on the map for us also there's going to be ones that create either walls to block off areas to do some zoning or to create like healing pods so you can come back and heal anyhow it looks like i got some teammates engaging in stuff over here so let's see if i can uh, help somebody out here come on make it happen oop he got away from me but i'm going in there what up what up how you like this dude come on come on what do you got what do you got huh huh you can't you cannot get out of my kung fu Oh, man, he is so far out of there. This is where I'm talking about my opportunistic fighter, though. I'm able to just move across the map, move it really quick. You can see on the right side here, this is your stamina. It's very nice to see a game that puts this critical information right in your face, makes you think that the game is serious right there. So you can see a lot of stuff about this game right off the bat here. I do have a build that I'm going with. It's going to be crit build, basically. And um, what I'm also going to be doing is adding some things that are going to allow me some stamina and whatnot. So... These little areas that we see right here, creatures are stuff that actually, um, not only do they do stuff for you, they allow you to absorb power orbs, which will spawn in here about every 45 seconds or so in the match. And that powers up your heroes. As you can see right here, um, their creature is moving forward, and our creature is moving forward right now. You really want to provide it with a lot of energy by picking up those orbs, which your heroes can do, or you can pick them up yourself, or you can steal them from the uh, enemy heroes as well. That's another option for you <laughs> but there's a lot of stuff you can do right there the idea is to power up your hero and just get it on over there to fight the other team come on Ooh, come on oh i saw an opportunity but i missed right here the reason i'm actually playing Wu is because Wu is one of these characters that not only has a lot of melee skills he's got range skills as well so he's going to really allow me to build up my skills as a player quite a bit faster right here so i'm gonna go ahead and add over here after the first following attack each strike gives you plus 10 armor so this is just kind of a basic augment however there are other augments right here that will change the way your skills work completely for example this kick over here uh i guess instead of my tongue right here one of these ones the run the one where i rush up forward you can actually have that do a completely different skill and there's also another character for example there's one where instead of having your the other team like do a melee swing it could turn into like a ranged kind of a wave attack that comes off the sword so you can physically change just how your how your character plays quite a bit right here so i messed up oh no and i didn't have my other skill so i'm gonna have to get in here <sighs> no i'm on i'm in the chase got him that's what i'm talking about that's what i want to do right there so I am a melee assassin, so I got to take turn and take those opportunities. You can see here, though, the enemy was able to get seven kills, but only two power orbs. That was enough to make its hero go over and start to attack us. But we do got a fair bit of shield on it, so we're not going to be taking a lot of damage. While the enemy guardian was up closer, you can see right here, it, we were able to knock down some of the power orbs that it has on its hands. I'll show you it later. But that means their enemy hero does not do damage to ours because we we're able to down it so much however it would do damage if we weren't able to attack it shall we say i'll show you that in more detail though yeah come on oh a nice dash move but i'm gonna get my combos come on all right i do have my major skill which is that f skill right there no 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 i gotta close some distance fast but i'm out of stamina unfortunately <laughs> 
So you can see that this game is different from your classic MOBAs by a long shot. It definitely revolves all around the team fight in just about every aspect right here. If you stand next to the thing, it will spawn up a little bit faster, just to let you know. But you can see it is much more action-paced than most MOBAs that I've seen. So I like to call it, like, it's the Unreal Tournament of MOBAs is a good way of putting it. Whoops, I uh, used all the wrong skills right there. My bad! That is a big loss of opportunity that I had right there. I could have just downed both of those. But, I'm still gonna get him. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we can see that our champion here is really looking to move on up. If we get a little bit more, maybe one power orb. Yes, our guardian is advancing right there. So we were able to pick up like a power orb or get a kill. I think we got a kill. So at this point, if they attack this guy and knock out some power gems, that's gonna give their enemy hero a shield. Or champion. So I don't want to give them the opportunity. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm also gonna defend up our little tower, more or less, the fighter thing, so. Come on! Come on! Oh, just like MOBAs, you have your skills and they have a decent amount of... <laughs> they have a decent cooldown. You can't just spam click stuff. This isn't a button spamming game at all. You gotta think through what you're using here. Come on! Do some damage to it! Yeah! Alright. I'm gonna lose my life, but you see how I was able to take down some damage on their enemy champion right there? So, if you look at the top of the screen right there, it has three bars, so you can't just kill it all in one go. You have to at least do do that in three goes right there. So that's the maximum amount of damage we could do. You can saw it when they attacked us, they weren't able to do much. But let me just get the rest of my build going on here. Battle Fury. That's what I'm gonna be picking up next. I do have a skill point. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade this one. Da, 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 da. Okay, weakens enemies. Good, 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 good. But I wanted to defend up this creature. Come on. Ah, crap, they got one. Oh, there's a lot there. Yep, I'm in trouble. Gotta move. Oh, he's got range on me. There are different skills I can do that'll actually allow me to deflect range moves and stuff like that. I'd have to upgrade my skills correctly, though. So, there's a lot to it, which is really nice to see that when you have a character like this, there's not just one way of playing it, plus whatever you buy from the shop. If you've noticed, there's absolutely no shop at all. You have to just upgrade your skills, and you can change it the way based on what you want to work for, late game or early game. So this is a power orb that this guy is absorbing right there, so that will help us power up our champion once again. So we got three and two right now, they got four and two, so they're in the advantage. Ow, it's fighting me, don't hit me. I'm level again. Left, 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 to uh, right. Okay. Raises something. I didn't, wasn't able to read what it is. I know it's helping me out. <laughs> I've only played this character about four times or so. Come on. Oh. That's right. I'll still get him. Nice. Killed by a teammate. Ooh, we are, we are really close. It's going to be down to whoever wins this battle over here. Luckily, we have won it. I gotta help him out, though. Come on, team! Yeah! Woo! Come on back! Oh! See, I really want to get the skills down so that I can take care of stuff like this. Nice! Nice! Good job, team. Alright, we've downed all but one right there. So here we go. Do some damage. Get it in there. Okay, they've all respawned right now. <laughs> Woo! Okay, time to go. Maybe. No, I'm gonna get back in there. I'm gonna get back in there. Come on, come on! I'll give my life for it! I'll give my life for it! Come out! Ah! Alright, well, I died. That gives them a little bit of advantage, but it seems like my team's having the real advantage thus far. But you can see that this game, man, it is... It's gotta be one of my favorite games to play right now, guys. Like, people ask me, what is your favorite game of all time? And I'm still gonna say... Um, Earthbound. However, this game is my current most favorite game to play because it is just, I think it's awesome. Left, left, left. So in this case, tongue deals double damage and raises your left mouse crit chance. Okay, so you heard right there what it was doing. Apparently I don't have a skill. Duh, I don't have any skill points. But by upgrading your creatures, they're making them much more difficult to take down. So those towers we were talking about, more or less, just since we're talking in MOBA terms right there. No, get away. Oh, I keep missing with that tongue move. It's a pain in the butt. 
Okay, they got a lot of stuff coming in. I need to kind of get out of the front line. Oh, there it is. Come on. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 you're in trouble now. Woo! Oh, you're so lucky. You can do dashes and dodges and stuff like that, too. Just so you guys know. Even though I'm, I'm not really that good. I'm trying. Oh, man, this is chaotic. There we go. Have I gotten any kills? I've gotten two. I've gotten a whole lot of assists, though. Which is kind of a... Uh, ooh, this is an upgraded guy. Uh, come on, team. This will help us out, but... Yeah, I need to get back on my healing. This isn't my healing. <laughs> That's their healing. Alright. Let's see if I can help out my teammate here. Um, this is a bad, bad place for me. Dodge! Move! Yeah. Bad time to die. Alright. There we go. Get some more of these skills. I can finally get the one I was talking about right there. Anyhow. So, at this moment, we're playing a long battle, but we will go into a clash mode. Once you reach a certain point, the clash begins. All right, so now the entire map, you can see it over there on the left, is going to be quite a bit closer together. This is going to be much more of a team fight at this point. And the creatures that we have, we each have four of them, I guess, right now. Or it looks like we have four and they have two. They will not respawn. So you have to either defend them or use them or kill them and make your, make your choices count. You know what I mean? What you're going to defend or whatnot. There we go. I missed with the tongue. Ah. But that's all right. Getting that one down is going to help us out. Got to watch out for their hero. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Come on back, buddy. Darn it. I got it. <laughs> I'm not used to the range of the tongue. Unfortunately, it's not working out right there. You saw a shield around me. That's obviously somebody buffing me. There's buffs and debuffs of typical sorts. Hmm, we can steal one of the power orbs. That's another way of getting energy. You can actually go on, go on over to the enemy and uh, take power from them, which is that top bar right there. It looks like somebody's doing a little bit of attacking. Ah, nice move. I saw that. He saw me coming and he jumped on out of there. <laughs> All right, so now's the opportunity to do some damage if we get the If I can sneak in there ah, they put an AOE on it. That was not a good play Still pretty new to this game only played about 15 games or so uh, This is the second upgrade right here. So downward kick. I'll do this right mouse button right mouse button will actually slow my targets down So now that that area of effect I have I think I also did another upgrade somewhere here that also allows me to do it more of a range and do multiple enemies at the same time. Um, there we go. A little bit of a glitch right there. So this game currently is in closed beta, so you have to be able to, lucky enough to get an invite. Um, there are some available keys on G2A though. That's how I got my access, just in case you were wondering. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. This is one slippery character here. This is such a hard character to play. Come on. There we go. No. There we go. Double hero kill. Oh, but I lost my life in it. So I'm up to six and six and eight. So not doing the best I've ever done. I did do one recording of this before, and I think it was a little bit better, but this is a much closer game. So you get to see a little bit more stuff here. One, two, three. Maximum stamina. That's going to help me out. Plus, this right here is going to use will regain my stamina. Plus, I have another combo that I'm putting in right now. Every time I get a kill or die, that um, upgrades by 10%. So I, I build up the bar for that by 10%. Now, they are rampaging on us, so we really got to defend our guardian right now. I guess that's the technical term for it. Come on, big guy. Each one of these moves I do is followed up by a critical hit that I can do. Yeah, come on. Come on, big guy. I'll take out your frontline fighter. 
that shield move you saw was him attempting to actually... <laughs> oh! No! Gosh, he's got a healer on him. And I can't overcome the healer. Keep going! I'm trying hard! Good, thank you, teammate. Needed that extra damage right there. So much about this game is such a team fight. Can we steal power from him? No, he's got no power to steal. What I can do is ping at least something. No, we are advancing right now. Yeah, and we killed it. Awesome. So there it is, guys. That is gigantic for you. Hopefully, you guys found that game entertaining right here. And I'm going to tell you about a couple other things that are going on behind the game, such as how they make their money and how you can unlock characters and some of the things like quests. Let's just take a look at the stats right here. We started off with the first one not going our way, but everything after that rolled our way right there. Efficiency 3.0. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I got most protector badges how about that how about that most kills how about we got some other people right there i was able to get six kill nine assists we got a summon how about that 2k guardian damage everybody getting on the guardian right there did not pick up any orbs and uh, unfortunately died six times but all in all that's what happened right there there's fortunes we can see here this is the quest system within the game what you'll do is you actually draw cards and they'll give you different quests much like you would see in heroes of the storm except for you have many more quests that you can pick up right there and uh, the different you know you get these things that for completing stuff within the within the game right here you can see what it's all about this is your crowns is your in-game currency as far as the uh, in-game currency your purchase currency is going to be gems up there let's go ahead and take a look at this store though all right, so one of the things that you can unlock here with your crowns is creatures. So we got the Seabrus right here, which reveals enemies on the maps. Also does some other things to help you out if you're fighting next to it right there. And then there are variants of it, so you can upgrade it, shall we say. Not necessarily upgrade it, but do variants, which has other abilities right there. You also got the healers and the variant of the healer. You have the Cyclops, which is the one that does the zoning, and the variant of that as well. And there's also the fire dragons, which do like periodic siege attacks, which sounds like pretty cool stuff stuff and then there's also the storm dragon right there the shop is very typical of mobas so you have you can either unlock your heroes from the in-game currency or with gems right there so you can see these some of them are more valuable than others and you can in upgrade them and unlock them right there going back to the quest system it is played out here with your fortune cards and these fortune cards you get a free draw every day unless you want to buy some more draws right there so you can see i'm working on one that is for Moo right there, so the monk, monk five, and I gotta do some stuff to complete it, and there's other ones we get right here. So like I said, you get a new one of these each day, or you can kind of build into it there. Anyhow, I hopefully you guys have enjoyed Gigantic right there. It is probably one of my most anticipated games here of 2016. I'm really glad that I was able to get it into the closed beta and bring you some action right here, and hopefully you guys are looking forward to getting into the game as well. Hope to be covering the game a lot more as it moves from closed beta to open beta and finally to release here sometime in 2016. And one thing I want to mention is that this game is actually cross-platform, so it plays not only on the PC, but the Xbox One, and you can play with each other at the same time time now mind you that is on pc for windows 10 so you have to go through the app store i didn't like it at the beginning however now that i've kind of seen how it works and my progress is on both systems i'm actually liking the system anyhow thanks for watching guys hopefully you found this gameplay and this sort of overview somewhat informative for you and i hope to be bringing you a lot more gigantic action here in the future if i've earned your subscription then thank you so much for that i'll see you next time guys stay awesome peace brothgar out yeah, what's up, girl? Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Oops. Girl, that's not what I thought it would be. And don't hate me. One million. There we go. <laughs> now we're talking. That's the sound of money if I ever heard it. Woo. It's kind of got a weird ring to it. I'm liking it so far. Billion angels on Mars. Oh. Oh, you would have been the closest thus far. Watch your guest on Mars. And now you're too far. <laughs> hey, man, my rhymes aren't that great, but they're punny, aren't they? But right down there is takeout, so that's new. It's got mustard, pickles, and ketchup all over the place, making it look nice and tasty. No! <laughs> hey, man, you got a little something. A little something right there. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh! <laughs>